So I want to do something different this summer. I heard about the Freedom Outreach Program at the university. At first I thought it was school. It's funnier than school. There are no tests. We, we, we're trying to make this an engaging and interesting program. The middle school program is really a fun summer camp. The kids get to learn about what we're doing with the future of electrical energy, how we're going to get power in the future. I learned lots of things in freedom. I learned that there was different kinds of energy and different ways that it can be used. I don't want to go to a camp. I don't like camping. There's too many bugs and I don't want to be in the woods. Well, it's not camping camp. We're not out in tents and we're not building fires. Uh, we are doing a lot of things with our hands though. We get to build robots. We learn about electrical circuits, so we get to hook things up and light things up. It's a lot of experiences for free. Science without a grade sounds okay, but I'm still not sold on the idea of being away from home all day. I'd miss my Facebook, Skype, and my Uvu. What we find is that uh, children really do care about the planet surviving through their generation and in future generations. We're actually looking at how can we have less dependence on foreign oil? How can we take care of our planet in a better way? We're talking about solar power. We're talking about wind power. We're also talking about up and coming uh, consumer items. For instance, plug in electric vehicles and the batteries within them. It's something that a child can learn about and actually make a difference to the world, save energy in their own home, save their family money and the children can actually take action and make a difference even at a young age. So it's very exciting that way. I know some doctors and science teachers. I don't know any engineers. What do they do? We get a lot of students that come in and they maybe say, I'm really interested in biology or you know different kinds of stuff. And then at the end of the summer, they say, wow, I didn't realize I could do all of this stuff with engineering as well. The students um, actually talk a lot more to the undergraduates and the graduate students. We find that that's actually one of the best parts of the experiences. She also liked the idea of going to a college where she could get you know, to know college students, see what they live like. Each day she came home, she had something exciting to say about the camp, and it was quite an experience for her. They get to interact with undergraduates who are only a couple of years really ahead of them, and so there's a lot of, here's what you need to do to be successful. Okay. It sounds like it will be fun for me. I get to meet new friends from my school and other schools. But I still have to convince my parents. What could I say to them? Well, it's really nice because it doesn't cost the parents anything. The, the federal government actually pays for the children to come to the camp. We make sure they have snacks and lunch every day. Um, we have a lot of counselors, so there's about four children to every counselor at the camp. Some of it's sort of a lecture classroom experience. Some of it's in the lab. We do field trips. And the idea is to just kind of give them these snippets of, this is what you could do. This is how people get their degrees and then move on in the future with their careers. And so we try and have the people that we visit talk to them about what they did to go to school, how they ended up in the job that they're in, what are the pros and the cons of that type of job. It's a chance for our middle schoolers really to begin to understand how even what they're doing now relates to what they'll do in high school and what they'll do um, down the road. For our high schoolers, it gives them an opportunity really to be side by side with very likely some of the leading researchers. Uh, and that's a really good thing for our kids to gain the confidence um, to be beside a researcher, to really understand better what their strengths and weaknesses are and what they can come back to school in the fall and really focus on in order to be more competitive students. Uh, and you make some great friends and you have a whole lot of fun. Freedom sounds like it's just what I'm looking for this summer. I can have fun and help my chances for getting into college. What do I need to do to get enrolled? Everything happens online on the internet.